What can you say about the crew? You've gotten a chance to meet them and talk to them. I know Steve Aoki is on on the crew. Like who else? Who else is there? So uh, you are obviously the the star athlete on the team. <laughs> who else in terms of the, uh, the artists that are there? So oh man, we might just want to pull up just so I don't totally butcher and, and forget anybody. But because so far I haven't actually had the, the chance to meet everyone in person. You know, so far a lot of this was done during the pandemic, but we've met through a couple different things. We've had a, a couple different times to, to get together. But so, so far I have not met Steve Aoki yet uh, or Top. Um, we've been on calls and stuff. I also have not yet met uh, Dev Joshi, who is uh, an actor from India. So yeah, we can, Steve, Steve Aoki, American uh, DJ and producer and musician. Top from uh, South Korea is also uh, a musician and a producer. So this is all across the world. It's like tr- truly global uh, all different kinds of walks of life. Yes. All artists of different forms. And Steve is is Japanese. Uh, his parents are Japanese, but he, you know, lit, born and raised in the United States. Uh, Yemi is uh, a dancer and choreographer from the Czech Republic. Uh, Rhiannon is a fine art photographer from, well, England and, and Ireland. I guess she lives in both and kind of a bit of a, she's all over the place. Uh, technically, she's Irish, I guess. Uh I, Tim Dodd, yep, that's me, from the United States. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, then you have Kareem, who is from England and does, also is a f- uh, photographer and documentarian, uh, does a lot of work with oceanography and uh, and volcanoes. So he does really incredible work. Brendan Hall is a documentarian and filmmaker. Uh, Dev Joshi, uh, sorry, Brendan is also from the United States. Dev Joshi is an Indian uh, actor. Uh, I believe also... I believe he's also already been producing and things. He's very young. I think he's only like 19 or 20. And he's, I mean, he's been acting since he was like five years old or something. He's a, he's a, a Bollywood star. Like he is a, a star in India, which is really cool. Right. Um, Caitlin Farrington from the United States is an Olympic gold medalist snowboarder. So she, believe it or not, is the athlete and not me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and she's one of the backup crew members as, as, as so is uh, Miyu from Japan, who's a, a dancer. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, it's, a, it's such an interesting uh, group. I mean, can, is there something else you could say about MZ, about Yasaka Maizawa? Yeah, Yasaka Maizawa. So he, uh, he's also a musician. So he was actually in like some kind of punk hardcore Japanese bands in the early, in the 90s and stuff and early 2000s. He started a, um, a record company and, and distribution and sales ended up in, in fashion and um, owns one of the biggest fashion companies in Japan. And has become a fine art collector and just kind of a philanthropist. And, and he's been out to space already. He's already not only been to space, like, you know, he's been to the International Space Station. He's been on orbit and on the ISS. And so he, what's cool is like, you know, there's talks of, when there's, and frankly, to be to be honest, like we still don't, I still don't know all of the details about this. You know, we're not yet into training. I kind of always assumed prior that there'd be some professional astronaut, you know, when they talked about it in 2018, there's talks of we'll have a professional astronaut on board. But realistically now, like MZ is a trained astronaut, you know, mm-hmm. he has trained a lot, like six months, you know, plus to be able to fly on Soyuz. So as far as like, it's good to know for me that I have someone on the crew that has experience with space flight. Um, has trained and has some knowledge on spaceflight as well. You know, that's that is an important aspect for sure. So you made an excellent video about flying in a fighter jet uh, that I think you mentioned may be relevant uh, to the training. Is there some high level aspects to training that you anticipate that you might be able to speak to? Yeah. So you know, so far I think we can really lean on what has happened with the other um, you know commercial crew missions and and in, in private missions like the Inspiration Four mission or Axiom. Uh, where SpaceX flew individuals. They, they trained for about six months, a lot of like reading manuals and learning the spacecraft. Yeah, are you going to do like a Rocky IV montage or something? <laughs> I hope you I go- just get shredded. I hope it's, it's physical, just... a lot of physical training. And they're like, we didn't tell him to do it. He just <laughs> seems to want to film himself shirtless <laughs> in the snow. It doesn't make punching any How is this Why relevant? is he always doing this? I can't get him to stop oh, punching meat. Um, <laughs> so yeah, hopefully... Uh, Realistically, I you know. lots, of, lots of manual reading. <laughs> I like it, but it there's is. there's a physical component to all of this, and that's that's really. I mean, that, that that's fascinating. And it's also inspiring that sort of civilians can do this. That's that's really yeah. interesting. Yeah, I mean, this is 
and to me, this represents this and, and the other commercial space, you know, uh, private space flight missions like this represent really a turning point, like truly an inflection. And again, it's easy for people to be cynical that, oh, you know, why are people wasting all this money doing space flight stuff? It's like, well, I'm sure some people were saying that same thing about, you know, airplanes and, and early aviation going like, why are we, I can't believe those people are wasting the government's, you know, funding these stupid planes and stuff. How's this ever going to benefit me? And nowadays, like, imagine if all the planes just stopped working, like we'd freak out, <laughs> like our economy would collapse. Yep. It would suck, you know? And I, you know, it might be a long time before we get to that reality with space flight. Well, I, no, if, if space flight halted today, you know, space assets, uh, all of our, you know, on orbit assets, our life would be crippled. And I don't think people realize that. Yeah. So it's already, we're already reliant on it, yep. but now we're getting to the point where it's, we're really turning that corner where it's the average person alive today. You know, if you're born, uh, you know, now or <laughs> from now on, I think there's a real decent chance that by the time you pass, there's an opportunity to have flown in space. Yeah, I mean, I, th if I'm being honest, I still haven't lost the, the feeling of magic of flying in an airplane. I often catch myself thinking like, how is this real? <laughs> How is, it, and like the contrast of this incredible thing that's incredibly safe, flying through the air, taking off and landing while everyone else just looks bored watching like, I don't know, uh, some romantic comedy <laughs> on their phone yeah. with Wi-Fi. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. it's just, it, it's like the contrast of that is like, wow, we're, we're incredible. We're incredible as a society, and, and it's like we we develop some uh, amazing technology that improves almost immeasurably our quality of life, and then we take it for granted, and now still re reach for the next thing yeah. and the next thing, and life becomes more beautiful and complex and interesting. And yeah, it's just uh, the same stuff will be uh, happening. Oh yeah, uh, uh, with space travel. Oh, it'll become mundane and boring. At the, some point. <laughs> the tough thing about space travel, of course, uh, you know, I don't even know if it's such a giant leap over airplanes because airplanes are already f incredible. <laughs> but uh, the tough thing with space travel is the destination, right? Is yeah. the is the is the landing on a whole other worlds, yeah. whether it's docking with with different transport vehicles or the space station, or it's landing elsewhere. I mean, it's it's it, it really really is incredible.